progression of the disease we did uh, in now 245 cases before and after we are doing their mrcp and what we found that none of the patient who has undergone ayurvedic treatment there is no progression so this is showing that how ayurvedic medicine is treating that it is changing the natural history of the disease next and status of the patient when we read ayurveda what fascinate in ayurveda the definition of its definition its concepts are so universal what is aushadi rog ki punravarti na ho rog ko theek kar sake sukh se lene wali ho aur koi dusra rog paida na kare so here what we have done that the patients who have completed our treatment 458 we say relapse 3 5 death but the rest of the patients are living more than 20 years 15 years 18 years so continuity of that so maximum patients maximum patient if you see the negligible patient uh, very negligible number of patient relapse to that and though the medicine is in crude form the treatment is in a crude form it is showing sustainable and complete relief next this is a very interesting finding ca 19.9 what is ca 19.9 it is a marker to see the growth of cancer and the progression of pancreatitis in pancreas cancer and they say if it is more than 300 it is it is uh, put into the category of pancreatic cancer of late we found this compound is also showing ca 19 by lowering effect next and here is the data and you can see that here 836 to 7.316 to 232 in all these cases which is being shown ca 19.9 it is very exciting we have a case now recently whose uh, ca 19.9 initially was 1000 then it went to 4000 and now again came to this 712 because we put in the beginning and there so this is a this is a mind boggling so when i presented my paper among 1200 top uh, hpb hepato hepato gallbladder uh, bile h mane hepato b mane bile and p mane pancreas that is the name of the pancreatic specialist i was the only one from non allopathy world i was the only one from, from india and what i found from the national pancreas foundation from the head of the apa and the head of the jps that unique enriched with volume and content because this data when i showed them you are seeing upgraded version though so that was the comment what i found from them and this is un- unbelievable effect of research these because there is no other medicine other than chemotherapy which can bring the ca 19.9 but again it is a short term so this is showing permanent one next amar is derived from rash shastra is a tedious process and uh, there is no reference of in rash shastra in treating pancreatitis directly but when i have a book of my father dhatu vigyan dharana dhatva ki jo dhatu hai jo sharir ki dhatu ko dharan karti hai that first page says ras rakt mans mein asti manja shukra and sona chandi tamba loha sisa jasta jashad these two dhatu words has been put uh, deliberately because our masters of rash shastra says that these uh, mineral dhatu live in sharir dhatu in a different concentration and an any imbalance due to ahar vihar me kya pratya marad that disturbs the body metabolism then vat pit ka dosh ko pit hokar bimari paida hoti hai i don't know what they said but this is the theory which is beyond vat pit ka ki why vat pit ka derange that one of the reason might be metallic dhatu ka jo body ke andar pariposhan kram hai uske andar jo samyata aati hai next and here i want to show you how this medicine works very surprisingly my rashala is open to all many uh, i can see many faces who have been to my rashala for 5 days i don't hide anything but whenever i go to attend some meeting and some top person oh you are the great vaidya who keeps everything within the chest wall i have been charged that i don't disclose anything but friends my formula is open secret my practice is open my sdis cure is open amar is open so what is amar it is mercury it is copper it is gandak devdali laffa echinacea and aprajita clitoridstern nation lemon juice this is my raw material and consumable next and then you have seen this uh, apparatus 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई डू सेवन टाइम्स तामरोत पातन तामरोत पारत एंड आफ्टर दैट जो रस तरंगणी में लिखा है कि आके के दूध में सात दिन आई डू फोर्टीन डेज बिकॉज माई वर्कर्स कैन नॉट डू इन सेवन डेज वैन आई डिड माई सेल्फ आई वॉज डूइंग सेम थिंग इन सेवन डेज बट दे टू फोर्टीन डेज तो फोर्टीन डेज इन ऑल दिस सेवन ऑर्गेनिक पॉइजन्स कलिहारी कनेर की जड़ की छाल दो इट इज़ वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू गेट ऑल दिस थिंग्स कनेर के जड़ की छाल सफ़ेद कनेर की जड़ छाल इट इज़ द मोस्ट कम्बर समथिंग टू गेट बट वी गेट ऑल आखे का दूध सो आफ्टर दैट वैन इट इज़ रेडी नाउ इट इज़ वीर बाउटी इज नॉट अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट सो वी इट डूज अर्थवाम केचवा दिज आर आल्सो नॉट अवेलेबल सो वी कलेक्ट इट वी ग्राइंड इट सो दिस इज फिफ्टीन टाइम्स उर्दू पातित पारद नेक्स्ट and after that when this para is ready it takes 9 months to us to make it when we do 365 days 24 hours job so when you visit our shashi chandra shala uh kyon guru prasad guru prasad hai ki nahi yahan par you have been there na so 5 days so did you see any minute we were stopped it was constant so when we work day and night then it takes 9 months but if we work like saturday sunday off at 9 to 5 it will not be ready even 4 years and then telam takre gawa mutre amal ke chakulat ke that way we have done this and we have used this ldo furnace for that it is very easy to handle so copper is shodit next this sulfur amla sar gandak isko trifle mein karke we do the shodhan next and when these all things are ready when your mercury is ready your so what is mercury I call this mercury like a PhD from BHU. One is hingulot from the market, hingul, bottle butter, my BMS, then tamrot, maybe MD, and when you do bubukshit para, dushot para, that is all. so. Person remain the same. Guru Prasad ji ki shakal pe koi fark nahi pada. But inka jo sanskar hai naam gunantara dharam ki in sanskaron se gudon mein parivarna aa jata hai. Guru Prasad ji dhire dhire transform hoke ek resource person ban gaye hain, ek academician ban gaye hain. तो आपकी शक्ल पर फर्क नहीं पड़ा सेम थिंग वेन यू डू नाइन मंथ्स प्रोसेसिंग इन द पारद पारद रिमेन द सेम थिंग ओनली वन थिंग आई बिन टोल्ड बाय वन ऑफ द स्कॉलर ऑफ आयुर्वेदा डॉक्टर कटियार दैट व्हेन यू डू ऑल दिस थिंग द आउटर ऑर्बिट आउटर ऑर्बिट जो उसका इलेक्ट्रॉन होता है इट बिकम्स मोर एक्टिव शायद ये भूखा ही है ये उसका फीस है मैं ज़्यादा केमिस्ट्री का आदमी नहीं हूँ बट देर आर सम चेंजेस विच ही कैन डिफाइन बेटर सो वंस इट इज़ डन इट इज़ पुट इन ग्राइंडिंग कजली in kajli as i said we have done standardization of that so this is the first cycle of grinding next and you can see this chulas it was very fascinating to me when my father was making he was very particular about the size of the chula and he was measuring with his hand that was his uh, parameter that was the standards of those time and then he was using particular wood either adu ki lakdi or kikar ki lakdi or amrut ki lakdi आई सेट वाइट नॉट शीशम की लकड़ी लकड़ी तो लकड़ी है तो थोड़ा बहुत बाप बेटे में टसल होती थी उसमें धुआं ज़्यादा निकलता था बट आई वॉज थिंक देर मस्ट बी रीजन बी आइंड इट एंड वैन वी पुट द हीट सेंसर इन टू दैट इन नाइन्टीज देन वी फाइंड यस देर वॉज द डिफरेंस कीकर की लकड़ी पर जो आग आती है वो चार सौ से ऊपर नहीं जाती है तीन सौ साठ से चार सौ डिग्री के बीच पर रहती है आम की लकड़ी की थोड़ी ज़्यादा ज़्यादा जाती है जो क्लिप्ट तेजी से जाती है तेजी से बुझ जाती है सो दैट इज कॉन्स्टेंट वन so based on that uh, intervention we designed computer controlled furnaces so this process goes into that and mercury and sulfur both are volatile initially if you do more than 12 hours fire sulfur goes and mercury also follows but gradually gradually when you do the processing it raises even sulfur does not evaporate at the for 120 hours and that is called jirna avastha next and after one grinding and heating this thing comes this our one cycle and this is repeated 100 times grinding and heating grinding and heating next so that is being done but how to ascertain the reproducibility what is what you have done so we have done the process control and uh, next so we collaborated with iic bangalore i tried many ways to get funding for this but somehow we talked too much about research but i could not get any support so by mobilizing our own funding from my own practice or from my well wishers this is the starting point red color hgs and this is us and more you do it this is 49% then 32% 32% a new color comes in what is the green color 
K2, Cu, SO4 things. So this is increasing, that is decreasing. That was the first batch. Next, we did the second batch. Next, this was the third batch. And next, and these are the summarize of all these three benchmarking. This has gone into patent. So now, the copper mercury sulfur which we have taken has converted into this. What is this? What does, does it work? What works? We do not know, but that has been patented. That has been went to patented. Okay, this is the Indian treatment for pancreatitis in the present form, and we are upgrading it further because with this finding, I feel that this 30 percent should go less and 20 percent should go up. Next, WHO says what is three essential for the development of medicine? Reproducibility that has been ascertained. Then, this medicine was subjected to safety studies following OECD guideline in an internationally accredited and DSIR approved lab in South India and these studies clearly says that AMR which is absolutely safe up to 10 times what are the standards are there it is absolutely safe. Next. Now you have to add more science. We say very proudly Ayurveda is complete. Yes, Ayurveda is complete. Hamare Nagare bhi complete the. I was in Hawaii. They took us in a car after three hours of drive early morning and they showed a place this is the remote area ki they put one nagara here and this nagara nagara communicate that time so in a whatsapp page that is still showing the people were communicating that time our ayurveda was written thousand years back using protocols and parameters of those time but if we have to survive in today's world then we have to bring science to it ayurveda is incomplete without innovation without researches. It is good for you, it is good for us, but if you have to give it to others, they will add more and more science. So, when I was making my poster, tomorrow I will display it when Professor Saab said. So, one doctor came, he was a professor of basic science, you know there is a placebo effect. I said, yes sir, it is very much there, but not on 860 patients. I am showing the data on 485 patients. So, there is no such data that 485 patients can have spontaneous remission. But sir, do not you see this study? What was the study? That we give it L arginine to the animals and develop chronic pancreatitis. Next, at different doses. Next, and what we found that in this study, when Amar was given at 4 mg per kg body weight, it was showing significant reversal of pancreatitis in rat. But the same result were going down when the, when the dose went up and it was less when the dose was less. Next, this study was again repeated. So, we found at the 3 and 4 mg, it shows the maximum pancreatitis protective properties. If you increase the dose, the effect decreases. So, he said, yes, if you do not have this, I will not going to accept it. I said, sir, I knew this. If I did not have this study, I was not going to present my work in this conference. So, we have clinical efficacy supported by this experimental. So, we in Rash Shastra, even we are treating patients, we have to bring more and more science to substantiate our clinical effect. Next. So, Amar the result is very clear that up to 3 to 4 mg per kg body weight Amar shows pancreatitis protective properties. Why it is so? It has to be understood further by doing more and more studies. Next. Now, we have to add more signs. So, that we are doing a com controlled clinical trial and you have seen that big difference between number of attack and number of hospitalization. So, when we were discussing the sample size, one of the professor at Ames, who is the head of uh, biostatistics department, he gave me six patients in one group, six in sec second group. I said, such a less number. Well, because the difference is big and you need one, one for dropout. So, seven, seven each. 
I was a bit confused. So I gave it to big pharma company consultant, uh, the same number, and he also said the same thing. So we are going to start a clinical trial very shortly. We have set up a program advisory committee under former DG of uh, ICMR, Dr. V.M. Katoch, and uh, our Raj Shastri from NIA, Dr. Shankar Rao is also part of that committee that has been approved, and it is under ethical uh, consideration nowadays. This will be done in Jaipur soon. Next. And these are our accomplishments. This is unfortunate and proud both that so far, I think Professor Chaudhary is the first one in India to invite me in an August gathering to present my work on pancreatitis. Otherwise, a small, small place, I have been there. So BHU is, uh, is the prime institution where I'm making my work on pancreatitis. Other than that, I was not invited neither by Ayurveda or allopathic side. But in America, it was last year. Next. That was second again in America. Next. Next. And this is the latest. This was the proud moment for me when I sent my abstract there. So I was not sure because it was for MD, PhD or professors. So when they gave me information that your poster has been selected among 620 from 80 institutes of 22 countries, you are among first 50. So that was a joyous moment. That was a great acknowledgement to Rash Shastra and the recently published pancreas, which is a journal. I am glad that the, our word Rash Shastra is there, though it is in abstract form, but we have created the reference of Rash Shastra in the world for this disease. Next. And uh, these are the publications. Next. And what is conclude? How will I conclude ki who is Rash Vaidya, Rash Shastra, Rash Shastri? He is a clinician or a non-clinician, both way, because going to that. He is a researcher, come inventor. He is an entrepreneur, formulation manager, educationist, academician, and resource person like me. So you all Rash Shastri, have, you are not only Rash Shastri. You are taking a degree. So by taking degree, one of the thing what I learned from Professor uh, Chaudhary ji, when I came long back in VHU, he, I read his thesis and his thesis, though he doesn't treat, but his thesis helped me us in making the medicine which is treating the, that. So whether the clinician or non-clinician, you are adding more to more to that and that is not, in the nutshell, I can say that a Raswadhyaya is a multifaceted personality. Next. And this is a take home message. I am a proud Vaidya, Ras Vaidya, and now it is your turn. Next publication. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you everybody for listening me uh, patiently.